What's up everybody and welcome to 3D Printing News. I'm your host Mike and every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time, see you notice I had to change it from Pacific Standard Time, but every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time we host the 3D Printing News. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So a few quick things to note before we go ahead and get into this week's news guys, I did activate memberships here on the channel. If that's something you're interested in, you can visit the channel page and sign up for that if you so please. Now, I'm not asking for you guys to sign up. It's just a way to support the channel if you want to. If you have that extra expendable money, I would greatly appreciate it if you signed up. I'm not quite sure what extra benefits I'm gonna give those people, but if you have any sort of ideas, you can leave it down in the comments below. Outside of that, I do have a second channel if you wanna check it out in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the news. So we have some exciting things this week. We have 3D printer leaks. We have some sales. We're gonna go ahead and go over some of my favorites, guys. This is a great time of year to buy 3D printers. And on top of this, we have more Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2 news. So let's get into our first story. Anycubic has been teasing their Anycubic Cobra S Max on Twitter, on all of their social media platforms. But guess what? Someone actually found the page that it's gonna go live on. A YouTuber by the name of 3D Print Rancher actually did a Google search and found the page that the Anycubic S Max was listed. Now I will leave his video down below. It is a large format Core XY 3D printer. I will say it did show a 350 cubed build plate, which is massive. I like what Anycubic is doing so far. They've shown that they're taking a lot of customers feedback, but we'll see how this turns up with this 3D printer and if they can deliver something that's on par with the quality of Bamboo Lab. I just have yet to see that yet. We'll see if it's coming. I would be excited to test out this 3D printer. Now, with that being said, they did show everything. It looks like there's going to be uh, active chamber heating, large format. Again, I would compare it to probably the Creality K2 Plus, but it's gonna come in at a much cheaper price. When I was looking at the listings and looking at the video, it looked like the first number was a nine, so anywhere between $900 and 999, we'll see what it goes live for but there is going to be a pre-order discount period starting on November 5th. So we'll see what the full specs are there. When I was looking at it, it looked like there could potentially be the combo. They sell it by itself. And it looked like the one that's sold by itself directly under the combo could have potentially been like a pro version of it. And then they have an even cheaper version that doesn't have the active chamber heating and probably some extra features. One other thing is that they did have a 350 degree Celsius nozzle for those extra hot materials. So it does look like they're adding some extra benefits on top of what the Cobra S1 already had. But again, we'll see if they can deliver. We'll see if the auto leveling good, if they can deliver good build plates, things like that. I'm excited to see what they're doing. They seem like one of the only companies getting out in front of feedback. I've seen them do Reddit AMAs, things like that. And they're also inviting beta testers. So that's very interesting. I haven't seen a company do that in quite a while. But again, I'm excited just to see how this all turns up. And if they can deliver quality products for cheaper, it seems like that's kind of their goal where they wanna be heavily involved in the community, but, and they're, they're kind of smaller. I don't see them get much traction when I post videos about any cubic. I think they deserve a few more views um, as far as what they're getting on YouTube, but time will tell, we'll see. I know they've been reaching out to some other YouTubers as far as like I've seen more any cubic products on other YouTuber channels. So we'll see what that turns out like, but let's go ahead and get into our next story, which is actually another leak ish. Not really. It was a patent filed by Bamboo Lab. You can see her up on the screen. It's a dual tool head A1. Now I've seen some renders that just looked absolutely bonkers crazy. Now I'm not sure if this is what people were trying to tell me about leaks because I had some people in my comments tell me, hey look, did you see the Bamboo Lab A1 double tool head thing? I'm just looking at this image as far as like how this works. They're using an AMS light, they're attaching one of the tool heads to it and they're attaching a tool head to another AMS light. Just like, how does this actually function properly? Is there enough room on that axis that like one can go all the way to the left, one can go all the way to the right? There's a few questions I have when actually seeing this setup, but this was a patent that was actually filed by Bamboo Lab that was found here on Twitter. I'll leave the link down below to the user that actually found it. Now again, uh, this doesn't mean that this is a product coming out, but it is an interesting idea. And it does look like it's set up on the A1 Mini, which is even more interesting. 
that I'm not really sure, like who would pay for $400 or $500 maybe for an A1 mini dual tool head type thing that we got going on here, whatever you would call it. Is this something you guys would pay for and actually like to see? Let me know in the comments down below because it is a very interesting concept. I was almost thinking of the other day, I would be excited to see like maybe they had an H2S setup, but they held like maybe there was like five inches on the left hand side. Yes, it's going to take up a larger footprint, but like nozzles just go in. It's like a droid army system, you know, when they're all coming out of Naboo and they're just kind of rotating. I would have liked to see something like that with tool heads. Maybe the Bontech Index can do something. For me, the Bontech Index just so looks so ridiculous with all those PTF tubes, like just uh, they're just poking out of the top and it's just so tall. It looks kind of ridiculous. I get it's like probably uh, better functioning than a lot of these other products we're starting to see and it's cheaper. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think of this idea? This is, I just started rambling on like possibilities and this is an interesting concept. I'm just not quite sure how they would deliver on a product like this and if it really makes sense when they have their other printers reserved at a higher price. On top of this, speaking of like Prusa, Bontech, Index, that kind of thing, because they're adding that to the core one. But Yosef Prusa himself actually did tease, hey, Friday we're coming out with some news. I tried to hold off as late as possible to see if I saw something come out. Like I gotta edit these the night before guys and put them up in the morning. And I didn't have anything come out as of now, but if we're on Friday right near and they've actually released something interesting, you guys can let me know in the comments below or I'll put it in the pinned comment. But he did tease, he just posted Friday. This could mean anything. Maybe they have a slicer update, something boring, but maybe they're also showing off the core one functioning with the Bontech Index. That'd be something that I'd be interested to see, but who knows, it's probably gonna cost $2,000. Another thing here with the update to the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2. It seems like just yesterday you guys were telling me that the render images of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2 were fake. I know a lot of you guys were on board and I was posting all my evidence, but you know, if you look at like the images, another thing I wanna comment on real quick before we get into this update with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2 is that with the Centauri Carbon 2, in the Billy Billy video that you actually see in the full like unboxing of it, people were saying that looks like a standard Centauri Carbon. It is definitely not, guys. If you look at the side plate, it has mounting screws that are not there on the Centauri Carbon. I thought at first that maybe they were present, they just weren't actually being used, or maybe they were using existing mounting holes that were used for that side plate. That is not the case. On top of this, when it comes to that, the poop chute is in a different location. The filament sensor is not located on the side. There's quite a few differences. I'm probably even missing some, but just, the, yeah, that, those are all the differences just rambling right off the top of my head. And now getting into what we saw from Elegoo, they've actually made a public comment or another blog post, but <laughs> yeah, the, the, the feedback on Reddit and stuff has not been good when it comes to their blogs so far. So let's get into it and I'll read what it says here. So Form Next is actually going to be on November 18th to, through the 21st and Elgu stated that they would be there. They said this year we're bringing an exciting lineup of existing products, the Centauri Carbon 2. Features a multicolor system canvas with RFID recognition for instant filament identification and automatic filament backup. So this is coming to Europe. This is on the US website that they're advertising. I found this on the US blog for the US website. On top of this, they are also bringing the Jupiter 2. So for those of you who have been waiting for the Jupiter 2 that actually got teased, here we are. Now equipped with a 14 inch 16K LCD for higher precision, larger build volume and automatic leveling for effortless printing. Now, let's just recap what has happened with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2. First, they sold Elegoo Centauri Carbons. This was at launch. They advertised multicolor printing for Q3. Q3 comes and goes. They remove all multicolor printing. But in between that actually happening, Elegoo actually sold a cheaper version of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon for $199. They called it the Elegoo Centauri. They have removed anything like that. They sent out cancellation emails in July, but they didn't make it clear that they were actually indefinitely canceling this project, but they gave those people an option to upgrade to the Centauri Carbon for $70 or cancel and get their money back and get like a $10 coupon to use on their website. On top of this, if we go back now 
to the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. We are now October 31st. Happy Halloween, guys. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video, but we're at October 31st, and we still do not have anything official on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon's multicolor. Now, look, people are saying, hey, look, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Guys, the, every single day that we go by that we don't have this system, it's just becoming like, what's the point in actually buying the system? Why would you buy $150, even if it's only $150, a multi-material unit for a one-year-old printer at this point? It's just, we're, we're getting to that point where it's just not worth actually upgrading your Centauri Carbon, and maybe that's what they're waiting for. But on top of this, the only official comment we have, it was from a previous blog post just saying they're, they're working on it. Now, I might have gotten my timelines, hopefully I didn't confuse you guys, but you can watch my previous videos on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2 to get caught up. That was just a quick recap. So will we actually see them answer questions about the Elegoo Centauri Carbon at form next? Time will tell and we shall see. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they shed some light on the situation. Ah, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. Now, the last thing I will comment, if you guys remember with the original Jupiter, the one that was in the big metal box, they actually had commented at the time that the Elegoo Jupiter, the resin printer could potentially be expandable and that never happened. So it's not the first time that they've kind of said a public comment. Now they didn't advertise that as much as far as I can remember, but this is not the first time that Elegoo has kind of walked back to a few things that they talked about. So anyway, getting into the next thing, we have some sales. So keep in mind for Black Friday, I just wanna call out a few sales. The Bamboo Lab A1 is as low as $279 and you actually have it for $379 for the combo. You have the A1 Mini sitting at $199 and the P1S at $399. Those are my favorite deals when it comes to 3D printers right now. If you're also interested in the Anycubic Cobra S1, for the combo, it is actually listed right now at $459. If you just want the single Anycubic Cobra S1, it's at $359. But personally, I would opt for the P1S. With that being said, guys, did you enjoy this week's version of the news? And also, I am working on this setup. Did you guys look at like looking at this better? Or did you like the green screen? Give me your feedback down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to take that. Outside of that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what you guys thought I missed. I will see you next time.